guys, it's Christy Palmer with It's a Book Thing and I'm so glad that you came to join me today. Um, I'm just doing an introductory video on who I am and what I do. So like I said, my name is Christy Palmer. I'm a video blogger, a book reviewer, a blogger, and an author of two paranormal urban fantasy romance. I love to read. Ugh. Reading is my utopia and I can't get enough of reading. I read all types of novels. I don't like thrillers because I don't like being scared and but I will read read high suspense. So there's that. And then um, what I blog about and what I read mostly from my reviews are typically young adult, new adult, and adult romance novels. I love a happy ending. I can't get enough of happy endings. Life is so hard sometimes, you know, out in the world and I just want to be able to drown myself in a book. So what kind of reviews will I be doing? I hope to be doing one or two reviews a week, hopefully. I'll be happy with one. Um, I typically read about 10 to 12 books a month and I try to review a lot of them and you can get most of my reviews on my blog or on my um, author website and then of course I will be doing author interviews and I'm really excited to announce that Rebecca Graff has agreed to sit down and talk with me and then Heather Lyons is going to sit down and talk with me on July the 7th and that is so awesome because she's a young adult author that I think is going to just take the world by storm. She's really great and I'm excited to read her book and review it for you. So that's kind of me in a nutshell. So yeah, let's get into the first review I'm going to do. I don't have a list right now of books I'm reading in June. I need to make that for you. Right now I'm reading Strong Enough and I'm reading several other um, Shatter Me and several other books. So I'm just reading a lot right now. Ice Rose is one that's coming up that I need to review. And so I'm reading a lot. Heart of <laughs> A Matter of Heart and A Matter of Fate. Those are Heather Lyons books. And I'm rereading the first one because I'm going to be reviewing the second one soon and of course interviewing her on my on my blog. So those are my books that I'm reading right now. I'll have a better list when I do my June wrap up and my July to be read list. So I'm excited about that. So let me give you a little bit of a uh, take on what I do for my reviews. So I'll give you a little bit of a little blurb about the book in my words and then I'll give you what I liked, what I disliked, my overall take on the book and whether or not I would recommend it, then I'll give you a heat rating from one to five, and then I'll give you an overall rating of the book, one to five stars. So it's kind of just like everything else. So the first book that I'm going to review for you is Wallbanger by Alice Clayton. This is a great book, okay. Um, here's what the book is about, generally. Basically, it's about a woman, Caroline. She's an up-and-coming woman who just knows what she wants out of life and isn't afraid to go out and take it. Um, she's introduced to Simon, who is the male lead character in the book, through his wall-banging activities from his apartment next door. And I'll let your imagination go and decide what that might be. <laughs> or you can grab the book, because it's excellent. So it's a story about their friendship and how their friendship turns into something more. And it's just a fantastic read. I just really, really liked it. So, uh, third character in the book that I have to give a shout out to because he's just, he makes the book just laugh out loud funny. And that would be Clive, Caroline's cat. And I won't go into a lot of detail about Clive because telling you about Clive would ruin some of the stuff that Clive does in the book that makes him such a lovable character. So what I liked about Wallbanger, Wallbanger was just a fun read. It was really laugh out loud funny. And I would sit and just laugh at some of the stuff that Caroline did, some of the stuff that Simon did, and most of all what Clive did in order to bring these two crazy cats together. So it was really great. Um, what I disliked about the book is here's the surprising thing is I can find tons of stuff wrong with things but I couldn't find anything I really really truly disliked about the book 
Alice Clayton just does an amazing job with these characters. At one point, she just does just dialogue interaction, no explanation, no, you know, dialogue tags, nothing, just dialogue. And it's just a fascinating way to introduce a different style to a writing, and I just loved it. Um, so there wasn't anything that I disliked about it that I can think of off the top of my head. And I even reread the book because I read it in the early part of the year. And so I reread it last night in the hopes to find something that maybe I could dislike about it. And there just wasn't anything. It's that good. So, um, overall, you kind of got my overall on it. So on a heat level, I would say it's probably a four towards the end. So if you're looking for something with not a lot of bedroom action, then I probably wouldn't pick this up. But if you don't mind that, then definitely pick this up because it's hysterical. It's hysterical. It's funny. It's a heartwarming story. You'll fall in love with Simon. You'll wish you were Caroline and all of the above. <laughs> so a heat level four. Overall rating, I gave Alice, I gave Wallbanger by Alice Clayton five out of five stars. It was that good. So if you go to my blog, you'll see on the right hand corner the top my top reads for the year so i really hope you like what i had to say today um leave a comment um like share subscribe i love to hear from um, other book reviewers and people who enjoy reading so here's what you can expect coming up this week um on my blog i'll be doing several um guest posts and i'll be doing a couple of reviews so i'll be reviewing reviewing strong enough and then a book called I think it's called Ice Rose so check those out I'll be reviewing those this week on my blog and then of course um, my upcoming features with a couple of authors you won't want to miss that so thank you so much